Hi everyone and welcome to Esther's Place. Today I want to show you a really cool and groovy way of growing some culinary herbs. And this is what I'm talking about, a little bit of, cor of marjoram or oregano or whatever you call it or pronounce it in, in your neck, neck of the woods. But I've run out of room on my kitchen bench and I saw these the other day and I thought, oh my goodness, what a great idea. L little living baby herb plant, some sphagnum moss and a little bit of string and the world is your oyster for ease and convenience. Right, let me just show you what you need. You need some sphagnum moss, and I buy it in these bags here, here in New Zealand. Um, it's wonderful, wonderful stuff. I love it. Where I come from at the bottom of the South Island, there's these great, great big fields of the stuff, and I just love that beautiful limey green of it as it's growing. It's fantastic stuff. But when you buy it, it's dry, and you just get a bucket, open the, it up, and then just put it into the water, and it would absorb so much moisture. It is fantastic stuff. Right, to begin, get rid of that so that I've got a nice tidy surface. Uh, I've also got some really great cotton here. Now this isn't like sewing cotton, this is like a linen thread which is really really strong. So we'll use that to start with. Right, getting our little plant here and I'm going to use this here which is a, a thyme and it's one of the lemon varieties which is quite nice. Now just turn that up, I'll just get my bin here because I don't want to make too much of a mess. Pull that out of there and then just take a little bit more of that soil off. Now there is another way that you can do these but unfortunately I couldn't find any of the little uh, peats uh, I think they're called Jiffy Pots. They're fantastic things, but I couldn't get any of those. And this here's a little bit dry too. The more root bound these are, the better they are to use. And when you get, I, I'll find those Jiffy Pots and show you in due course, but the Jiffy Pots are great for doing little seedlings and they just swell up so that it gives you a really lovely ball to start with. Right, from here, it's just a matter of getting your moss and then just mounding that up, taking that right up to the top and being very careful that you don't damage those little baby roots or any of the green bits at the top. I love having my hands in this stuff as I love having my feet and it. it's great. Right so just mound that into a ball and there's two rules of thumb for doing this. You can use, leave it at this size, um, I'll just keep it at that size there like that and then you can use the string, this is you know part one, just but you've got to be, oh, I don't like doing this because it's really, you do have to be really, really careful with how you do it without getting yourself all twisted up, which I'm doing right now after saying be very, very careful careful I just have to take that off there because that's just really annoying me right take that off there and then just as you go just like binding that around to getting that nice circle shape but I find it much much easier right well, once you get once you get it going you're fine but just keep m running that around there until you've got it nice and firm like so I'll cut that bit there off and then, and the great thing is because it's cotton, it's not going to, or linen, it's not going to deteriorate too quickly. And then the next thing, you just keep going and you can add more moss and make this to the size that you actually want it to, to be. Right, from there, I've got one that I've already prepared. So I'll just get that out and I'll show you. Where is it? Here it is here. This is one, I did this a couple of days ago and it's really, it's holding together quite nicely. Then, putting that down like that, then if you want to hang it, this was the easiest way I discovered of hanging them up. Determine the length that you want it to be and you need to add a little bit at the bait, leave a little few tails at the bottom here and then take that up to there, knot that off and with very, very careful approach to this, take that down through the middle Gently turn that over and then tie that off like that. And don't worry about those little bits that are coming off because this is really wedged in quite firmly. Right, put that to there. Oh, look at that. That looks lovely. And then getting, now you need to leave a nice long tail here and then just bind this open. Now you can cover it with as many circles or laps as you like but just until the whole thing is covered you sort of sometimes need two hands for doing this it is a little bit fiddly but that's okay I know that when you're at home you can take more time than me to do this so I've seen these oh getting rid of that I've seen these on uh, where the balls have been completely covered in the string but personally I like to see 
a little bit of that moss because it sort of is all in keeping with what we're doing. So just keep going until you get it to the stage that you are happy with it. I'll just take that up there, cut that off there to there. Oh, scissors are really sharp. In fact, those scissors are annoying me so much, I'm going to get rid of them. Right, then take that last bit of string up into there and then just gently tie it off. Right, when it comes to watering, it's just a matter of getting, oh look at that, isn't that just fabulous? I just love it. And these here hanging, I'll show you what they're gonna look like. These hanging, look at that, isn't that just, just too beautiful? These hanging in a kitchen look absolutely fantastic. Now to water them, all you do is once every couple of days, just get a nice big deep bowl and just submerge the whole thing and that will keep growing for a long, long time. And as you, and the great thing for me when I'm cooking is I just love to be able to just like reach up and pick a bit and then just put it into whatever I'm doing. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a really fun and groovy thing to do and something good for the kids to be involved with. Thanks for watching. I'll see you another day. Thank you.